Hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to look at how we can handle the situation of dependent select lists or drop downs inside our application. To explain this a little more better if we go into our deal create form I can see here we have two drop downs one is the list of company and then there is this list of contacts. Now right now even if I select one particular company it doesn't mean that you know the drop down basically uses that context and only shows me the contacts for that particular company and that is what we are trying to do. It is also a very common use case for things like if I select one country then I get the drop down of states which is based on that particular country so on and so forth you will find n number of uses of this in your real life application right so this is what we are going to handle in this video to start with why don't we create one company which we are able to relate i'll just create one that i am working with okay and once i create let me add two contacts so this is one and this one is the second one. So now if I go to my deal create form, as I said, I can look for focal works, select that, but my drop down right now shows me Amitav Roy, FW contact and all other contacts as well. And this is not what I want. So let's go to code, open up deal resource, by the way you can find that inside apps, filaments, resources, folder and then this. Now this is our form, we have one select list for stage which is this, that's fine. Then we have one select list for company ID which is this. And then we have a select list for contact ID. And what I understand is this is where I need to work. Based on this, I see this list. Now, if you are new to this series, what I have done over here is in my deals model, I have a relationship of company and a contact. So inside my resource when I am getting the company list I am using the relationship. So relationship name is company and the name or the title attribute is name. Similarly over here select list the relationship is contact and the title attribute is name. Also inside the contact list I have one more modifier which is that the query should only fetch the active records. Now obviously this relationship will not work anymore or maybe it can. I'll look at that as the second option but for now what we will do is first comment it out and instead of the relationship let me add the options. Now this option needs a collection. Okay, I'll look at the thing. It expects an array, closure, arrayable. Right, so why don't we do that? So in the current state of things, the query is almost like name and ID. With this, if I refresh, you will see I am pretty much getting everything that was there. The only thing is, it's not sorted properly. So maybe I'll add that as well. Name seems to be the most logical one. So you can see over here 
Amitabh Roy and a little down below I should have my FW contact. So right now we are getting the list without the relationship but then we do need the condition of you know when the company is selected at that point it should give me the context. So in that case what I will do is basically I need to in some way read this value whenever it is changing the select list should change. So to observe any change on the select list or any input field for that matter in filament it's a live wire thing I would I feel but still at least in filament I put the live option. Now what this will do is basically it looks for change in values of the form fields and it will render itself again. Now this means right now we are implementing it on a select list we can also do it on a text field and because you can do it on a text field you may put the argument on blur equals true which means if you are typing something it will not make that API call but once I tab away from it or when I'm you know, doing an on blur you know I'm getting out of that field that's when it will kind of you know, start the re-rendering so you are saving a lot of network requests because it will otherwise start you know, rendering it again and again when the field value is updating. So this is something which I wanted to, you to know and uh, I mean with these kind of things it is important that you know the uh, consequences because on a busy app it can create a problem. Okay so we have the options but still we don't have the condition in place. We are now watching for the value change. So how do we bring that value inside this query? What happens is inside the options we get the ability to put a closure something like fn get dollar get it will return a collection and then let me first put this query okay and then in here I'll put my condition. So as I said right now my deal has a relationship of contact and company so I can use that as a condition what I can do is where has where has companies and then I'll add one more closure over here <clears throat> it will take a builder instance which is my eloquent database eloquent builder and in this again I will have a query where companies dot id okay and the value now will be this get that we have over here right I can this thing allows me to you call this as a method and I can pass any attribute in this form for example the name the stage the company ID anything okay those values will be available over here so right now what I'm doing over here is maybe I'll just do a okay it's not doing query fair enough um, yeah it's getting quite big actually um, yeah maybe this so where I have this and then I do a pluck on the name and the ID uh, I think my pluck is in the wrong place because let me see this is one bracket two bracket one bracket two bracket yeah it should be here if I'm okay my pluck is already there so I can skip that okay yeah uh, too much indentation I got a little confused but I think this is now fine let me refresh I hope this is not breaking now my drop down is empty and if I come over here 
do focal works and if everything is done correctly I see two contacts which is this and this now as I said right now if none of the company ID is selected this is coming as empty if you want you can now I don't think you can or maybe um, if I haven't selected the company I'm just wondering if I can show all I can do a when yeah I think I can so let me see let's just try it out together okay I haven't tried this but I just got the um, I would say the requirement in my mind and I'm just kind of thinking so if my dollar get company is when it is um, not equal to empty something like that maybe right if that's the case function this I'll okay I'll get the builder hmm, getting too complicated I feel let's see I'll get the builder over here so I'll do this okay oops yeah 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 I know hold on and the get is not defined so I'll have to do a use um, dollar get and this will close now everything is fine refresh okay right now I'm seeing all the contacts but the moment I do focal work solution what happens all right so we are getting that so now as you can see we are handling both the situations which is you know, if I don't have the value I'm getting everything but if I have the value then I'm getting the context context based um, query okay so this is when we are dealing with options now again we tried one thing which is this you know this when condition kind of a structure and we only added the condition when we have a company being selected now if I comment it out put this back okay and in here maybe what I can do is so the relationship first thing is name and everything may if I can do a get over here I'm just trying to see if with that in place I can do a where query where has this can be active and let me see where has I'll just copy this I think this is what we need so let's see yeah so where has companies and this so right now I'm doing the relationship I'm modifying the relationship query let's see if that works contact list is empty but if I do focal works I'm getting the two contacts only can I do a when condition I think we, sh we can um, again let me yeah I think it, it's, it logically makes sense because I can just uh, do this query and do when this right and then I'll have the function 
in the builder, the query, and I can do dollar query. This, yes, I need the get. I haven't used it. So, get. What happened? Why is it not giving me a type hint? dollar get and I'll need to close it with this in place right now all the contacts are loading and when I do focal works drop down the two contacts are in place website development initiated value 100 test and if I create I have everything in place. Company selected as focal works, contact is Amitav Roy, deal stage is visible. And obviously the view is still something that I'm working on. So you may not see all the details, but yeah, the data is properly getting added. And exactly this is what I wanted to show you. You know, this is the beauty of Filaments APIs that allows you to you know, modify your query. I showed you an option where if you are loading options, then also you can use the contextual querying feature where we can even check whether the value is set or not. And based on that, we can do the query. And if your select list is relationship based, then you can use relationship modifying query as well. And you can get the desired result. I'll just delete this because I am using the relation. So it makes much more sense for me to modify that query rather than the options because I have relation over here as well. You are, feel, you, you are free to choose whatever option works for you, whether it is options or modifying the relationship query. But yeah, that's about it, guys. That's what I wanted to cover in this video. Let me know what you think about it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And yeah, if you like this video, then do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.